Hi, it's me, Pam Vinnie, and I have uh, a couple more de-stash boxes of uh, Christmas. This one is Santa, and then I have a Faith Journal, that one, or Journal Supply Box, and that one is already um, spoken for, the Faith one. But this is a Santa one, and then I will have, tomorrow I'll have two more kind of a sweets Christmas uh, boxes. Uh, and then after that, um, I'm going to wait a little bit, and then I'm going to do fall. So let's, this is, i got to figure out how to get this to shut. So let's see what we got here. And I just have it loosely in this box, so I'll have to reorganize it a bit. But these are going to be these stash boxes. This one is the stash Santa. So this is the Santa one. And let's just get going with it. I have a couple of Rusty cards, vintage. Oh, that's another one of these. We have this vintage one with the bells. And this is more of a, a red green. Um, Santa box doilies. We have some note paper. Oops. It's pretty. Some just a note. And a couple of these with the red. Um, ornaments. We have this red doily. The napkins I have is this Santa one. You know, it opens up, so there's quite a bit on here. Lots of Santas. There's this beautiful poinsettia. Then we have a Reindeer, this piece, okay, and I can't remember if I put these in or not, um, but these will be included there, uh, um, this is a Santa, it's a chipboard, I think there's a couple pieces in here, one, two, three, four, looks like they have a hole in them, so I don't know exactly what you do with them. Santa frame four times, so you could decorate them. Then I have this one, that chipboard from Fab Scraps with this Christmas tree and the candy cane. Okay, then I have some uh, ribbon trim. That's wired, pretty green. And I did find some of uh, the Santa, which is really pretty. With that, um, we have this beautiful holly napkin with the cutwork here. Uh, Lennox. Lennox Linens by Kempen. Beatly. Very pretty. We have let's get the fabrics up. This that I um tore up from something, but I thought it'd make fun pockets or whatever you wanted, and it has has the reindeer here. So there's a bunch of that. I have this green with the little uh, houses and snow people or snowman. And this beautiful, which would make a beautiful uh, cover. A lot of that, hollies and bows. And this, which would complement it with the little 
gold snowflakes. Okay. Oh, now I have this other ribbon for the poinsettias. Okay. Alrighty, I have this. I have some more uh, playing cards. I don't know where they are. There's a Santa. And then just a couple little tags here. These tags. Some note paper, a couple of those. Bingo. Then we have these vintage, like turkey steamed holiday pudding, 1971 thumbprint cookies. I thought that would be fun at Christmas. Hot cross buns and a ham on a spit. Looks good. A couple tags, thicker tags. little present cut apart we have some of these cut aparts or the mistletoe things to remember merry bright and making spirits bright family celebrations cranberry stuffed pork chop with potatoes pumpkin bread Turkey recipe. Well, it just talks about it. But anyway, it'd be a nice tuck with a Christmas dinner picture. Then we have some Sally's dinner rolls. We have a few of these six by six papers. These two are thinner. I put in a CD out. Oh, I, do? I don't know if I did. So if I didn't, I have these. And if I didn't do a bingo card, there's a Christmas one. Okay. There's one of these Joy stockings. A little bell. It's cute. These really awesome buttons. A couple books I included was The Night Before Christmas. Does this have pages in it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know when that is. MCML, but it's really old, with, but you could cut it apart. Make cute little uh, journal tags. Yeah, these are our journal supply kits. This is a Christmas gathering. Really cute. Actually, this one doesn't really go with it. I'm going to wait on that one. And I don't think I can get all this in there anyway. The night before Christmas we have. Awesome book. Those two books. And then I have some cards that you can turn into tags, envelopes, I've got a photo card, you just put your card right in here, another pretty card with uh, birds, there's a Santa and the penguins, this one with a little candle, with the holly. Got a large envelope that you could make and put in as a page. We got this cute one with the Santa envelope. And a nice long one. So you could have lots of fun with all that. Okay. 
right, let's quickly go through this. Got the vintage Santa. We have a couple reindeer on little paper or clothespins. We have these little like snowflakes, the red and green in the middle gem. We have this little Santa. Okay, this is going to have bells and uh, snowflakes and sequins and a beautiful Christmas tree that you could put on a sign or a sign, a spine or um, on a page cluster. So there's, there's bells in here, different red and green and snowflake and rhinestone gems. So there's that. And in here we have more bells. More bells and a little red bow. This cute little Santa. Stocking, a tree, a snowman, a wreath, a couple Santas, a couple candy canes, an ice skate. So you got all those charms. Okay, so that's fun. I'm throwing a couple buttons too. I have here a couple red and green. Okay, now we have the book pages. I don't know a quick way to do this, so we're just gonna go through them. Book pages and um, scrapbook pages. And I have this. It's um, these are I think cut aparts. Yeah, cut aparts here. And these are like gift tag stickers. That was cute. Here's Santa. And there's a little sparkle to him. Okay. Okay. This. Um, Christmas coffee cake, apple fritters from Susan Branch book, illustrator, uh, some shape cookies, this has gravy, it's got cute little illustrations from Susan Branch, and then you can cut them apart, you can add them as book pages, uh, main dishes, Mother's Goose, continuation of that. Fun illustration. And look at this awesome. Looks like a plum pudding or something. I thought it was a beautiful page. I remember Christmas. So yeah, I take a lot of time to uh, get these all together. This is a um, cute little page from uh, Night Before Christmas, I believe. We got old fashioned sugar cookies, some recipes. I thought this was cute. Jolly breakfast ring for 
Santa. Uh, this is cute from a craft magazine with a Santa in the tree stocking. This was from a music book. She must have done good because she got all these stickers. And we have Joy to the World, the first Noel. This uh, is a cross stitch. It was the night before Christmas and you had the little house there. So you could cut that out and make it a tag if you wanted to. This is from a um, little golden book. Christmas is coming. I love this one. It's a pretty Christmas wish. So all different books. There's Santa's Toy Shop. Night Before Christmas, Wonderful Christmas Day. This is a beautiful page too. Oh, this is cute. How did Santa know? Oh, this is a story. Is there a Santa Claus? So I kept that together. It's an adorable illustration. From a different like a songbook, Jolly Old Saint Nicholas. I got a star there. Joy to the world. Uh, I don't know what that is. Okay, we have this with some jam shortbread cookies and gum drop, gum drop gems. Actually, I think I need that for my sweets one, but I've got plenty more here. Got a lot of sweets here. Little ginger cookies, so little vintage vintage. Uh, I don't think these are really anything. They must have just got stuck in there. And look at this beautiful one, a vintage cookbook with a turkey. And these are from Mary Inglebright um, pages. Master Christmas card list. Cute. Believing is seeing. From another book. I just thought they were really cute. Um, then we have some Christmas songs. Jingle bells. Mary Englebright page with the Santa. Another Mary Englebright. A couple more of these. Santa. Well, you get a lot in here. I'm going to really have to try to get it shut. Cute. Another Santa. Okay, then we have some scrapbook pages. They're folded in half. There's that one with Santa. And the Christmas trees and Santa. This uh, has some Santas on it. This is a lighter weight with a holly. Santa, just a smaller one. This says Christmas trees, it's thicker, the green. Cute little children waiting for Christmas by the Christmas tree. Here. This one is kind of a texture um, paper. This one, Santa, got some ornaments, and this you could cut out if you wanted to or use it as a page. Okay, then we have some cut aparts, and this is graphic. 45. And I 
cut it somewhat so it would fit. Oops. Okay, we have a vintage bingo card. Some more cut aparts. That one's a really nice one. Another Santa. I think that's all I have of this. Just some more of this with the wreaths. Then I have some coloring book pages with the candles. Ornaments. And a couple more cut apart. So that is Santa uh, journal box. And next will be the Faith one. Okay, next I have one considering the Faith uh, Christmas journal. So I'll show you what is in this box. And this one is uh, spoken for. Okay, I have one of these like I've had in the other ones. I have this vintage like placemat. And I thought what you could do, I didn't have fabric that was faith or angel like so what I did was I I'm going to put this in and you could cut this out you could put it on a journal cover you know cut around it and then I would because I have a lot of blues I would um put white pom-poms here I mean if you wanted to because that's kind of the colors but you can just you know cut around that so I thought that was really cute. Looks like seventies or eighties placemat with the felt. I have some beautiful uh, ribbon for belly bands or whatever. This silvery one. Okay. I've got um, a few of these, uh, Christmas Day, The Christ is Born, so this is a faith one. So we have those, and then I, <laughs> probably crazy, but... I found some angel and sponge cake, so I found if I could find some angel, you know, for faith, because it has, uh, there's angel cake uh, variations of what I could find. So I have um, some angel things in here. What did I find here? Oh, yeah, cherry angel dessert, lemon angel dessert. <laughs> We have a lemon angel tort. I found a glorified rice and also a snowflake pudding. I have a chocolate angel cake and an angel loaf cake, angel cake. I found those for this Angel Faith theme box. We have some recipes. Um, that you could use a couple of Rolodex. You could alter some blue playing cards. Another recipe card. Some gold doilies. We have Wasale, which is a Christmas drink. I thought these were pretty, the stained glass cookies. You've got stained glass in a church. Angel Food Waldorf. And these are those vintage 71, 1971 recipes. <clears throat> Excuse me. No Cook Divinity. 
<laughs> Surprise candy tuck-ins. Ice cream pies and Christmas confections. Then I had this um, snowflake scrap, a couple guest checks, this vintage little bag, bingo card you could alter, uh, some six by six papers. Then we have a few uh, little note papers. And this says, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. We have a couple of those. We have this one with the be kind. And then I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. It's my Bible verse that I claim. Then we have this notes. Roll with, roll with it. With some of the colors, blues. May the hope, of, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. Romans fifteen thirteen. This is beautiful. <clears throat> excuse me, note paper. It's gorgeous. Um, that I received quite a while ago from Stephanie with coffee, paper, scissors. Thank you, Stephanie. <clears throat> I have this paper here with the blues. Stationary the envelopes <clears throat> because there's some blues in here. This is a thicker paper. A couple envelopes, just some white cardstock. And then we have some Silent Night Angels. We have heard Angels from the Realms of Glory. So there's a little angel. Note, we have this beautiful paper with the partridges in a pear tree. Another thicker paper. And then we have uh, white Christmas cookies. Okay, what else? We have... Some beautiful wrapping paper. I think it's vintage. I'm not sure. But I folded it over a few times so you could put that in your. She can put that in her journal. We have the angel theme there a bit. Not totally, but somewhat. And then we have this cute little um, Christmas carols book that I thought would be really cute. Or uh, little tags or tucks. And then I have a couple little, uh, whatever you want to use them for. That's really sweet. Look at those. So I got that little Ryan McNally Jr. Elf book. Look how sweet that is. Putting a little star on the tree. I just think they look like angels. That's Betsy Clark. And this is cute too. Well, it says, what does it say, Mary? I'm not sure what the uh, illustrator is, but I think that's precious little angel. Then we have some cards. Mary, little bird here. Peace. Oh, holy night. Look at this one with the angels. Celebrate the joy. Lots of things you could turn into tags. This beautiful one with the gold edging. This beautiful one with the mountain and the church. Silent night. Then it has the song here. Of Silent night. That's really pretty. They're going to church. Christmas, Christmas Eve. Another beautiful church with the blues in it. This one, Silent Night. Then we have some 
envelopes. There's a little church there. We have an angel. Just a little white one with a gold foiling. This is gold. A large envelope. Put things in or make into a page. Here's a blue one. And this big one, that could be a page too. You could put that in a page for your journal. Okay. All right, and then this little bag. We have these little snowflakes. They're the white and the blue. You make tassels with whatever you wanted. You could just, you know, put through something here and hang it. Oh, there is something attached actually. So pretty. These little handmade angels. Look how sweet they are. There's two of them that you could hang from a tassel. Those are precious. We have these angels that have a bead and a little bead cap on it and they have little wings. It's all beaded and there's the bottom. So you could find a way to use that. There's two of those. I have a lot of this sparkly white ribbon that you could use for tags. I have this little vintage angel and then this is the cutest little pin of an angel. There's the back. Oh, and I have some candy canes in here. I have this angel. Pretty. Then I have um, bells and snowflakes and silver gems. So I got blue, different color blue ones in there. I found this blue one too. I'm just going to put that one in here too. Okay. Let's see what we have in here. It just has some sparkly gems that would be pretty or tassel. Then I have one of these with the looks like snow in them. A little bobble. Then for the faith journal, I have different crosses. It's a larger one. We have that. Okay, then I have this one with the snowflake. We have a wreath. We have the heart. We have hope. So we have hope in Jesus. There is some candles. That one says, I love, I heart Jesus. It's another hope one. Another one. And this is a little um, silver Christmas tree. Okay. Then we have some papers. Okay, here uh, is some of the eight and a half by eleven papers with a scripture verse. For unto us is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Luke two eleven. Then we have some old snowflake paper. Okay. 
We have this from a little book. It tells the story of Jesus being born. So different books. There's the manger. The wise men. The animals. There's baby Jesus. I think this is pretty old fashioned Christmas theme. The creche. And here is a needle point or cross stitch. We have some Susan Branch Heavenly Waffles. <laughs> Tipsy trifle. <laughs> What's this one? Okay, why well, I choose this one? Angel cake. Miniatures. Cranberry punch. Snow cream pie and angel coconut pie. Company's coming. I just thought that was beautiful, and I have some blues in this book, so. From an Idealist Magazine, and there's a church there. Oh, that looks delicious. Raspberry Angel Tort. Yes, please. And then we have a couple Susan Branch, and he's uh, doing a snow angel. Perfect. And another Susan Branch. We got Cherry's Jubilee. We have a little angel there. Decorations you can make. We have snow clouds. That's pretty. And this is the gift of the Magi and the story here. This looks delicious. Angel food candy. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Christmas music. We have angels from the realm of glory. And of course we have angels we have heard on high. First of all. Ark the Herald Angels Sing. Different songbooks that you could add to your journal. A Little Town of Bethlehem. Once Upon a Christmas. I thought that was beautiful with the blues in it. Here's a beaded treetop angel that I got from a book. There's a bingo card. I don't know if I have that already. Okay, this is a Mary Englebright, and look at the little angel. <laughs> Hark the Herald. <laughs> That's adorable. Celebrating Christmas. This is a beautiful page. Look at that. There's some angels here. Beautiful table setting. How pretty that is with the candles and the roses. This is a pretty scene with the blues. My prayer as the new year begins. Look how beautiful that is. A little church, Christmas. May the meaning of Christmas be deeper, its faith stronger, and its hopes brighter as it comes to you this year. Look how beautiful that would be. This journal, that one, the church, snow scenes. I just think this is such an adorable book. The book Christmas Carols. You now, of all these cute little angels, we have the angels here. More little angels, angels we've heard on high. So cute.
so you could cut those out. And then this talks about the angel of the Lord and the angels uh, here. So this is part of the Christmas story. And here's some more music, a little town of Bethlehem. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, more angels. It's a vintage Christmas carols book. And another angels one. Now we have some page, uh, scrapbook pages. We have this beautiful blue cardstock and then a darker blue. It's really nice cardstock. This beautiful um, with the gold foiling trees. Christmas trees. This pinkish color that goes with some of it. This blue, kind of winter blue. This kind of looks like little swirly clouds. The pine cones is all folded. Beautiful ornaments. Little snow scene with some blues in it. This is um, got snowflakes, more snowflakes, then we have this beautiful angel paper from Graphic 45, look at those beautiful angels, kind of looks like the, um, this wrapping paper, doesn't it? So you have two of those. Then you have this. I think that's all I had of it. The angels here. And here's another little scrap that I had. That's uh, Echo Park paper, Silent Night. I have this little angel paper. We have um, some cut aparts. Each of us is an innkeeper who decides if there is room for Christ. So these are beautiful cut aparts. I have a coloring book page here. Got some ornaments on that side. Some candles. So that is the fake one, and that one is spoken for. And I will do some fall kits. Um, I'm going to take a little break, and then um, oh, I've got two. Um, sorry. I am. Um, going to do two sweets for Christmas yet and then I'm going to take a little break and then I'll do fall pistache uh, boxes so um, if you do want a fall one just let me know uh, in the e my email will be in the description and I thank you so much for watching and that Christmas uh, pistache box is available it's $35 shipped uh, US only and uh, I just thank you so much for watching I appreciate you uh, being a subscriber and please like um, and comment if you'd like. See you next time. Bye-bye.